guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video of trashes that I need to throw and I need to split it in like five or four videos because it's gonna be on products that I hate, products that are makeup related, skincare, hair care, and some random stuff. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be five parts video or a four part video, but let's go let's start off with the products that I hate. So I have this paper bag here and inside are all the items that I wouldn't recommend to you guys to go and get mainly because it doesn't work for me and I just hate it, okay? So yeah, let's start. And the first stuff that I got out from the bag is actually Main and Tail. It's the shampoo and conditioner and at the time that I bought this, it has an offer of buy two get one free. So I actually purchased shampoo, one shampoo and two conditioner which I actually used up managed to use up the shampoo and the conditioner but I did not use up the other conditioner right here because I can't stand the shampoo, I can't stand the conditioner mainly because I feel like when I use this my hair gets really really dry like as dry as a horse tail. I feel like this shampoo um mostly for our tail friends, you know, dogs, cats, or animals rather because I didn't realize the mane is humane, you know, human and tail so it can be used on, I think it can be used on both animals and humans so when I use the conditioner, it doesn't provide sleep, it doesn't make my hair shiny, it doesn't make, it doesn't do anything. So that's why I do not like it and the smell of this is just meh, you know? So I'll give it a pass. I would never purchase this just because it doesn't work for me. And usually hair care product, I'm not really that picky but not with this. I just... I just cannot. The next thing I got from the bag is the Daiso toner and this one is the Milky Daiso toner, the Psyche Milky Lotion rather. I, I couldn't stand the scent of this because it's too strong. The Milky scent is too strong to be applied on my face at least. And the residue that it left is about a little bit sticky and but it doesn't break me out or whatever, it's just that the scent is too over empowering. Next thing I got from the bag is my all time favorite brand of Tanaka face mask, but it's the Rose Tanaka face mask, and I didn't even manage to use half or at least what. It's still like almost brand new, but I just couldn't stand the scent of the Rose. Oh my god, so strong! It's like super sweet. Bandong with 100% sugar level or something. That's how strong it is. And when you smear all of your face to apply it as a mask, <sighs> the set linger through well until you wash your face. And then I got, you know, April Skin. During that time, this was highly raved by, you know, Korean superstar, K pop singer, and whatever not. So I thought, why not give it a try? It was trending during that time at Qtech. I bought this. I think this is what, like, I think it was 10 bucks plus. And I got it. The smell of this totally reminds me of that all hand soap, you know, the, 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 the soap bar. This smells exactly like that, only in a greyish color. And it is said that it's 100% natural, but I don't know why it breaks me out. So I cannot use it until finish. Rather, I throw it off and I just keep the packaging. I got with me is the Nivea Extra White Repair Pore Minimizing Toner. It looks something like this. And it is okay as a toner, but I don't know if it's doing anything to my skin because it did say on the bottle that it has like a 7 days whitening effects thing and it will minimize extra large looking pores and it's actually a pore minimizing toner and whatever not. But I don't know, I, I feel like it's just... it and then you have to finish it so yeah, doesn't work. And then I got like a tummy butter. This is for stretch mark and I used this when I was in my confinement period and I did not enjoy using this as much as I did with the bio oil. Okay this is from Palmer's and I do like the scent however it smells like chocolate. 
tablets and it makes me feel like I want to dig out and lick the whole freaking tub of this but it is doing nothing on my stretch marks rather I feel like bio oil does better job than this and I think this is much more expensive than the bio oil you guys can give it a try but I don't fancy this mainly because bio oil is in a liquid form and it's easier to apply this one you need to rub against your hand and then kind of unsanitary way to dig your finger in there a little bit of work needed to be before you apply to your skin so yeah I don't like it and then I have two other product from Nivea as well and which doesn't work for me but I did use this up until it's finished and it has SPF 33 plus 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 yes plus 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 and this one is it's a 3 in 1 moisturizing serum I mainly use this like a primer or something but uh, other than that like one of those things that you try but you're not really sure if it's working but you buy it so you have to finish it so that's what I, I did to this but not really a wow kind of thing you know this one here is also from Nivea it's the night serum I think this one has like a ginseng inside here like I will have like a oil zits around my forehead particularly and I stopped using it just because it develops this small oil zips on my forehead so I stopped using it. It still has like 90% content in here so I did not finish it up. Another product that I tried during my confinement period is the Mori Rosen. You know this is the, like the updated version anti-cellulite cream and it looks something like that. It is packaged in a very nice gold. gold this box packaging and I really like the packaging and overall tub. It is a very huge tub. The reason why I actually purchase it is because during that time when I just gave birth and the tub looks like that, like that, okay, uh, you know, when you just give birth, you will have excess skin at your tummy area, so it's gonna be like flabby and whatever not. So after I actually had my Malay therapist massage, all the bunkung, I actually bought this to apply on my tummy area, hoping that the excess fats will go away just by applying this and then put some compression outfit or something. But it does provide the heaty feeling. But I'm not sure if it's doing anything. The heaty feeling is very uncomfortable and I don't like the feeling so I did not use it. So I believe it's like one of those gimmicky products that, you know, they advertise that. You apply on your flabby areas and then you will slim it down, you apply it to your tummy area, you know, where those excess fats are and promising you that it will make you slim down but no people no such thing, okay? So don't bother buying all these crabs. Okay, I have a sponge here and it's from the Naked 4, like so-called like a Urban Decay inspired, it's just packaging and it's very soft, it's a marshmallow kind but what I hate about this is when you wet the sponge, it doesn't expand in size, it just stays like that, only it's wet. So, you know, when the sponge doesn't expand, so it beats the purpose a makeup sponge. I did not like this purchase. I have like a translucent powder. Okay, this translucent powder is from Mary Kay. Okay, what I don't like about this is like, you know when you use translucent powder mainly it's for baking. Now when you bake with this translucent powder, it literally feels like, you know what happens when flour meets water? It's gonna be so patchy and it's gonna like like you know what I'm trying to say here. Basically, it makes your base makeup patchy when you apply it wet. So this is like only for dusting of your face of excess oil. And I have a mascara. This is from Me Now, and it looks something like that. Okay, this I think this one promised to have like a extreme curling effect. And what I don't like about this is that. The wand is super flimsy. Can you guys see that? The wand is freaking flimsy. When this is applied to your eyelashes, 
I feel like my eyelashes turn into plastic and I also noticed that my eyelashes actually drop when I use this. Don't really recommend this, okay guys? And then we have a Dove Hair for Rescue Serum and I bought this just because during my confinement period again, I was suffering a lot of hair fall so I thought of buying this to fix that. But this one is more of a gloss for your hair, you know? To make your hair shiny, to make your hair silky smooth, but nothing got to do with helping you with hair fall. But the smell is nice, everything is nice. So if you're looking for a serum that is for, you know, managing your dry hair or something, you can try this, but there are a lot more bigger bottles than this, and this is not cheap, guys. I, I think this is about 14-ish, 15-ish, about that range, which you can buy a whole big bottle than this, so... Now, okay, we are almost done, okay? I'm just trying to speed through because, like I say, I have a lot of trash to clear. The rest are all the eye pencils, and this is from Wet n Wild. I do enjoy this, however, I actually dropped this, and the whole thing inside here crumbles or, or, or broken or something. Because whenever I shop with this, and then I apply to my eyebrow, it wobbles and then it breaks. And this one. Here is a white eyeliner pencil which I was actually hoping for it to work in replacement for my Inglot uh, beige color eye pencil but it doesn't work because it's not creamy. It is so so hard to work with and the color payoff doesn't even come off and it's tugging to the lower eyelashes and it makes me tear which is very rare for me to tear from eyeliner. No, won't recommend this. And then another Mary Kay product is their retractable eye pencil. I like their packaging and I like that the fact it is uh, retractable. But then it is not as creamy that I wanted it to be. See, still have that much. It almost feels like wax. You know, dried wax. Like you try to press it down and no color actually come out look I can even show you see so if on my hands it is not coming out so just imagine if I were to apply it on my lower lashes and it's gonna be a pain to apply so now the last thing here is the me now this the Cosmetic is a really really good quality but some of their items are hit and misses like the mascara that I mentioned and this one right here is the concealer and this one is actually made meant for your you know your eyebrows it's supposed to reshape your eyebrows and then <coughs> when you're done reshaping it it's supposed to blend out the lines but this one once you draw it and then you try to blend it out, it gets super patchy and it just smears and stays there. So you're gonna look like a freaking freak. And it's not pretty, so... And it's not that creamy as well, you can see that I'm trying to... And it doesn't work, so no! I like this one more last product. This is LMS Spotlight, okay? Okay, and I got this from Groupon. Groupon? Yeah. And what this thing is supposed to do is to actually help you with spot treatment or get rid of your scar on your face. So they say, you like technology, like light, red light technology. And what you're gonna do is just put or aim it to the places of your trouble areas and then do it three times a day like you do it for one minute here one minute here one minute or one minute all of your entire face and then they promise that it's gonna lighten your acne scarring and if you have active pimple it's gonna help it reduce in size which is all bullshit people so don't try it i bought this and i bought the other one which is like a bigger set literally looks like a compact powder and both of it at that time cost me a total of a hundred something bucks and I tried it and it doesn't work and I feel like a total dumbass because I actually purchased that we 
receive a hefty amount and it doesn't work and how stupid was I back then like seriously so that is it guys product of 2016 that I hate and yeah you can try those that I mentioned here but like I say what works for me might not work for you and vice versa what works for you might not work for me but nevertheless I'm not bashing any of this brands just that it doesn't work for me for my part two so just stay tuned so subscribe to my channel if you want to see that part of the video and yes I will talk to you guys in my next video